Hi there, I'm Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you for the Even Moss Stitch, which is a series of slip stitch and half double crochet. I'd also like to recommend that you have two stitch markers on hand and that can be anything. I happen to have just these little plastic little loop things that I picked up at the craft store, but you could you could use a safety pin in place of it. That'll just help you mark your ends so that you can keep the side straight. Okay, let's get started with 16 chains on your hook for a nice sample, um, but any even number will be perfect. All right, so I have my 16 chains and I'm going to start in the second chain from the hook with a slip stitch. Now before I go further, I want to take one of my stitch markers and just simply place it under the loop of that stitch I just made. Now let's continue on. This time I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to work a half double crochet. Next I'll do a slip stitch. And then I'll do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So we're just alternating slip stitch, half double crochet. And your last stitch of the row should be a slip stitch. So after I worked that last slip stitch, I'm going to chain one and turn. And now in that, let's see. So here's our chain one and here's that slip stitch. I wanna work a slip stitch underneath the two loops with a slip stitch. Okay, and I'm gonna take the time to stop right there, grab my other marker and mark that slip stitch, the top of that that I just made. Now, going across the row, half double crochets are made into the tops of half double crochets and slip stitch into the top of slip stitch. So they kind of, the stitches just stack up on top of each other. Okay, here's our half double crochet, and then here we go. Here's our slip stitch that was marked. And now I know exactly what the last stitch of the row is and where it needs to be underneath that loop and underneath the other one that's kind of hidden down there. As you keep going, it will that, that won't always be that way because your blanket will get taller. I will slip stitch that one, chain one, Go ahead and give it a turn and work slip stitch. So it still is basically the second stitch in that we don't ever count the one that's on the hook. One, two. I'm putting my hook underneath both of the loops, pulling through. Go ahead and I'll stop right there. Take the time to mark that. Well, I'll know the next time when I come back to it that that's my last stitch of the row. I find it's just a really handy um, technique or a little, just a little thing to do when you're a beginner, especially because I know it can be really confusing where the last stitch of a row or you can forget or it just all these loops all start to look the same. Um, and so I just want to help you out with that simple little tip. And maybe after a while, if you use them for a first few, the first few rows and it becomes a pain, but you've got it kind of understood where that last stitch is, you won't need to use them anymore. So it's just a little guide and a little help. But anyway, that is all you need to do for the even moss stitch. 
Here we are at the end at our other stitch marker. And you've got it. All right, thank you so much for coming by our website and our YouTube channel if this is all you're seeing us. We are on Facebook and Instagram. We have a wonderful Facebook group that you can join called the Daisy Farm Crafters. And people love to share what they've made from the Daisy Farm Craft patterns. So you are welcome to come and join there. We'd love to have you. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. You have a wonderful day.